What is up guys and welcome back to Kicks and Slobs. Today I want to talk about investing in sneakers without having a large pool of cash. I know a lot of younger people are getting into this sneaker game and they just did not have a chance yet to accumulate a good amount of money. And that's totally fine. Today I'm going to show you how I started out with during my college days and what I actually still do to this day to make a pretty decent profit. If you guys want me to talk more about this topic about investing in sneakers without a large pool of cash, please just show your support with a like and a comment down below. Personally, I think that the best way to get into reselling sneakers is by buying more pairs that are more readily available and are a bit cheaper versus waiting for that one grail pair that's going to net you a lot of money in the future if you are able to secure it. In my experience, there are great deals to be found in stores such as Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Burlington, Ross, and others. So these stores sell heavily discounted sneakers, but that makes them for a great flip. So last weekend, I went out, I hit like five or six marshals. I actually managed to pick up 13 pairs of shoes. They're going to make for a great flip. I'm going to show you each model, how much I paid for them, potential resale value that's at current market value, and how much potential profit I'm going to make. Well, let's get into it. Okay, guys, let's get into the first shoe. First shoe up, we have a pair of Adidas Superstar 80s. Fortunately, the box does not have a top, which affects the resale value just a little bit, but that's totally fine. It's this off-white or beige-ish colorway, great summer colorway. Um, and look at this price, guys. $30 for a pair of Superstars or a pair of Shell Toes, they can also, they're also called. That's a pretty good steal. We can definitely make some money off of this one. There's going to be a Go um, screen capture here showing you the current market prices of these. Just so we, you can have an approximation of how much money is going to be made from each shoe. Let's keep going. Next pair up, we have a size 9 Gazelle prime knit so another great find because there's another great summer shoot which is obviously this is summer right now so these are going to moving very quickly i paid 25 bucks for these this is a great summer shoot because of this prime knit upper which is very breathable perfect for the summer decent toned down colorway great for 25 bucks you know there's profits being made here let's keep going i have a pair of young 96s in a size 11 all adidas pickups guys white and white colorway you know this is gonna be a good summer shoe it also has like a dad shoe vibe to it like a yeezy 700 but significantly cheaper as you'll see right now and i picked these shoes up for an absolute steal guys these shoes cost me 12 bucks not even kidding 12 dollars for a pair of shoes this is an easy flip this is an easy double up at the minimum at the minimum you're do you're doubling your investment here so that was a no-brainer, instant pickup, in a white colorway during the summer, come on. This is, they're just asking you to buy these. Next shoe up, we have a size 9.5 Adidas Night Jogger, with the box on top now. Much better for the resale value. Picked up this shoe just because it looks modern, and it looks cool, it has boost on the bottom, very comfortable. Um, good colorway, summer colorway as well. This shoe ran me a bit more, it was 40 bucks. Um, Personally, just thought it was going to be a great flip. I checked the prices. It looked good. It'll be down below. There's also going to be a counter um, listing the costs as well as the potential profits that I can make. And as well as at the end, we'll have a sum of everything. Good pickup. Let's keep going. Now we have two pairs of Young Ones, which are very similar to the 96s, but in a different colorway. So you see, this has also got that dad shoe vibe about it. These are blue and gray accents. What was this teal greenish color around the bottom? um black soles but look at the price guys $16 for a pair of shoes pair of adidas shoes that are in trend right now can't be beat easy quick flip here same thing with the other shoe box is in great condition and they have two pairs so you know it has to get both size 10 and a half 16 bucks 32 bucks for two pair of shoes can't be beat go marshalls next up we have Three pairs of the same shoes. These are Pharrell Williams and in these, let me show you the, this is a size nine. This is the epitome of the perfect summer shoe. Lightweight, breathable, and white with some bluish accents on the bottom. Sole plate's also very light. I paid 40 bucks for these. It's summer, I know these are moving. I had to pick up everything that the store had and fortunately I had three pairs in total. This one's in a size nine. Let's keep going. There's the same shoe in a size 10, also 40 bucks, perfect. Then we have the same one, but with the box lid attached, size eight and a half, 
same shoe 40 bucks not bad at all next up we have two pairs of adidas boosinets in a size nine they come in this maroon and blue colorway um and white sole plate perfect skater shoe that's what originally started out but at the price that i got them for could not pass guys these cost me 28 bucks at least a double up is coming just from this pair and i have two of these great pickup i was very surprised that these were these were still in stock and same thing guys size nine very good size as well let's keep going now we have an eight and a half for williams holly very similar to the all white but in this case it's in this very purplish pink greenish colorway um very interesting shoe again perfect summer spring shoe and we got them for a steal of 35 bucks. Can be beat, definite flip, quick flip, easy, just what you want in a, an investment sneaker. Two more pairs left, guys. They are also Young 96s. This one's in a size 10 and a half. They're in this also very spring summerish colorway of like white and with orange accents to make it pop a little bit. Perfect. But the kicker with these guys. It's the price. These ran me $13. This cannot be beat. I'm very surprised at these prices, but hey, if you see an opportunity, you gotta take it. And we have the same, same shoe in a size 11, 13 bucks. You know I'm buying both. That's the last pair guys. It was 13 pairs in total. I feel like this was an amazing haul for hitting like five or six stores. These shoes are cheap. They're gonna move quickly. They're all very spring and summer styled, which is perfect for this period right now. Um, there's gonna be a sum total of the costs of the market value and how much profit I can finish your make of these shoes and what you can do the same if you do this. Um, you guys enjoy this series, want more things like this, maybe do like a $100 challenge, see how quickly I can turn into a thousand. Leave a comment down below, support the channel with a like. Um, as always, subscribe as well, and I will see you in the next one.